Hello. Oh my hey. god! Ah, my boobies! <laughs> well, uh, honey, you, you, you heard them bring I can't in. hear anything. Oh, um, check the volume on the actual I headphones. Did. Um, okay. I can't Yo, hear anything. How about I now? feel like echo right now. Hello? Testing, Hello? can you hear? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi, Phil. Hi, Chris. Hi. Are you getting anything? What's up? Can you hear now? I can hear. Yeah. You. Okay. Yo, what's going on? What's, what's happening? up, my Asian bros? <laughs> Yeah, we got a, uh, we got a, uh, what's it called again? Uh, you know, like a cameo from X-Ray Girl. Yes! Yeah. Yes. Um, I heard that you loved Rings of Power. Oh, no, no uh, I, I fell asleep. Like, I, yeah. I was falling asleep. It was, it was really bad. The, the first, like, first 20 minutes. X-Ray Girl, you watched the entire thing, huh? Oh, God. I watched season one, and Mark, when we got to the part where Galadriel went upside down on the horse, was like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I wasn't really even watching it with you. You just inflicted it upon me because I woke yeah. up in the room where you were watching it. And then, um, yeah, season two was, um, like, you know, really good stuff to fall asleep to. Hi, puppy. That's yeah. great. Yeah, so. it, was, it was definitely a really awful. But yeah, ho, ho, uh, uh, thank you guys for uh, for joining. I didn't know uh, X Ray Girl was going to be joining. Oh, before, I was but... coming to say N hi, Neither Mark, did I, and I was to be like, honest. change, <laughs> change the camera. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking. I thought she was saying turn the camera off because that's usually what she's saying when she walks up here. And I was like, uh, here, I guess um, I can demonstrate. I was like, honey, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what <laughs> I can do other than what's happening now because all they'd be able to see is doom. What? I don't care about Doom. Change the camera back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was watching. I think, uh, yeah, Mark was playing Doom. I was like, oh, he's playing Doom. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I'm on Doom 2 Master. I definitely levels. played this, but I wasn't good back in the day. I installed yeah. it on your laptop. You can play it at 240 FPS there if you want. Which yeah. The laptop yeah. that you just got. Oh, <laughs> How many laptops did you recently buy that I would have had to install stuff on for? I have you? three laptops, okay? Do you? What's the third? It's, it's a really old one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How, uh, I, it's, uh, it's hot and uh, it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really hot right now. It's, it's hot uh, here too, and it rains at the same time. We're kind of uh, like a tight typhoon season here. Ooh, it gets really hot. Are you hot, in the valley it really. or in the hills? Uh, not really. It's it's just a, it's a, we're in the typhoon belt in the Philippines, okay. so it's the as season long as you where, don't get flooded. Yeah, it's more of the provincial problem, but we also get floods from time to time. But we man uh, we manage. Nice, nice. Yeah, uh, I loved your tweet, Phil, yeah. about your situational disability. <laughs> What's your situational disability? Children, honey. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a son. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow! <laughs> hey, don't hit me. I'm crippled. Domestic abuse <laughs> on stream! <laughs> well, yeah, it was her abusing me. You guys all saw it, right? And yeah. Like it. That. I also did get an, uh, a new dog as well. So, like, um, Yay. I ended up getting that, Jojo? Ah, honey, you're elbowing me. I just wanted to make Jojo growl. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is a very awkward position for me to be in. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if I made your Rings of Power stream uh, review shortened. No, no, no. It's a, we we we, we were done. We were done with it already. It was just like it, it's, it's so it wasn't long. Much. It's so but tell so little. I was telling Phil earlier. Yes, screen. I agree with that, and I wish the wigs were better. Yes. On Anatar. Yeah, yeah, he had he had a huge forehead. One wig to rule Charlie them all. Vickers is not a bad looking human, but he looks horrible as editor. Yeah. So he's a bad looking elf. They made his hairline worse. Get get it though, because he said he's yeah. not a bad looking human. Oh my god. <laughs> he's trying to one up an elf right now because he knows I like Legolas. You just ah. can't handle how witty I am. <laughs> I love Legolas. Uh, Orlando Bloom is Legolas. She likes fanboys. Shut up. He's really he cool with his bow. Hey, yeah, he, he can is. kill orcs sliding off the trunk of an elephant. Can you do that? Elephant. Elephant. And I don't know. I've never tried, probably. Okay. Next yeah. We, but, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, Mark, well, you know, we, we had we had X-Ray Girl on, uh, what was that, last year already? It was a year ago almost. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to invite me back. Invite me back. Yeah. I, Yes, I was will. headed. Definitely I was headed home, so I wasn't able to join during that time. 
from the army. Uh, I remember yeah, yeah. I that. Remember, I remember. Oh, yeah. Because I never actually talked with you, Gray. Like, we talked in person that first time. And then, yeah. Yeah. We, you, you feel <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was instinctual. I love it. I love it. So, um, yeah. DM me. Let me know. I would love to come back on. Awesome. Yeah, I would definitely have you back. But Mark the Cyborg. So people who, Hello. for people who don't know who you are, you know, tell us who you are and what do you do? I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I guess I'm a, a YouTuber of sorts who I uh, make videos about video games and um, talk about media and, you know, TV shows, movies, all, all the things. I, I like anime. I'm one of the, one of the people in the, in the sphere who sometimes talks about the animes. And I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, there's, there's other stuff, but I, I guess um, I, I probably need more specific questions to target in on things because, you know, I've been, th been through a lot of my life. Could probably tell you a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, de definitely. Now, uh, people are always saying if I have any tech issues, I can basically flag you down. You should have an answer. For uh, see, that, that I think is um, <laughs> probably probably a, a misplaced assumption that's been happening to me since I was a little kid, actually, where... My mom used to not really understand the difference between computers and video games. So if she had computer problems or one of her friends did, she'd be like, oh, well, I'll ask my son about it. He knows all sorts of stuff about computers. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, mom, I like funny enough. I at the yeah. time I would have been like 10 and I would played Doom on the computer. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, well, you can install all those like crazy games and stuff. And I was yeah. like, yeah, it's not that hard. I, but that doesn't mean I'm good at like tech support yeah. stuff like that's a that's a pretty specific skill set and she get and she gets upset if you don't know the answer right away or you have yeah. to look it up or you don't know yeah i can definitely relate to that well uh, what 100%. i always love is when they get upset at you when you tell them that they need to learn things like be like hey look watch me when i'm doing this this right here is the start menu when you hit that, all your programs come up right here, and then you can click on them. She's like, "Oh God, this is all technical mumbo jumbo," and I'm like, "Oh God." Yeah, yeah. my my dad is like, <laughs> my dad's like, "Hey, hey Philly, hey Philly, uh, what does say over here?" I was like, "Just," I was like, "Can you do it? Like, I, I'll teach you how to do it." No, 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 no. You do it for me, easy. Yeah, you do it easy. Yeah. You know how to do computer. You know how to do. You know yeah, exactly. how to do everything. Just do it for me. I was like, dude, yeah. you gotta learn. Like, what happens? Yeah. Like right now, like I live like. 50 minutes from my dad like the funny thing is that he bothers my sister now <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like five funny. minutes away so he bothers you got her the, the proximity bonus where he's like <laughs> yeah. he's not gonna call me as much anymore because I'm, I'm further away in case he needs me to do something on purpose yeah so like my sister is like he's like thank he's like why did you have to move in with your wife now dad's bothering me all the time i was like good mm -hmm. luck so whenever <laughs> like he needs something he bothers her which is awesome now um so uh, you know, I, I do want to ask, like, how did you like get started with like YouTube and stuff like that? Like, how did you like get, you know, I, you know, you, you know, a lot of people like a, a people from FNT geese and gamers. Like, I want to see, like, how mm -hmm. did you like, you know, start your career on, um, you know, YouTube? Well, yeah, nothing really special as far as that goes. It's just um, I had I, I, w I was playing on PC in like 2017, 2018, probably, and noticed that the GeForce Experience app made it so that I can like hit Alt F10 and then save my last 20 minutes of footage and it'll be like perfect footage that's like but if i'm if I, I guess at the time probably 2017 i'd likely be playing in like 1440p or 1080 mostly but it would be like 1080p 60 fps footage that looked really good and i knew how to video edit because i had I'd gone to film school and stuff like that and that was kind of a whole life ago because i eventually kind of left movie making and went into just being a full-time army medic for like 12 years now um and but around 2018 2019 i just started capturing a whole bunch of footage and i actually played yakuza zero and a buddy of mine was like hey what are you playing lately and i was like oh i just uh, finished this game yakuza zero it was it was so good like it was it was honestly one of the better games i've ever played he's like it's on sale on steam should i pick it up and i was just like no <laughs> and then he said why i was like I feel like you'd hate it. And, he's, and then he's like, what, uh, like, what do you mean by that? You just said it's like one of the better games you've ever played. I was like, yeah, I just don't think you'd like it. You know what? Here, I have a bunch of footage of it. I'll just, I'll make you a little video review. And, and well, that'll be something I can do in my spare time as like a little project. And so I did that. Um, he liked it and I uploaded it to my channel that like was like my old channel that's just mark b now so like, i guess there you go spoiler alert on my last initial it's b but um 
So actually, I'm, those videos might not be up there yet, but I basically just started continuing to do so. I think um, Plague Tale Innocence came out not too long after that to give a bit of a time frame, and I thought it might be an interesting idea to play a game that I know I can get through in a weekend because it's like a story-based game that's supposed to not be all that long and then see if I can make a, a review of that. Uh, the next one I did was Project Warlock, which was funny enough, you just saw me playing Doom, another kind of like boomer shooter type game. It's kind of a Doom-like with some like light okay. RPG elements. That's so actually quite good. There's a sequel too that's also very good. And um, then eventually I made one on um, Curse of the Moon, Bloodstained, which is like not not Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, the one that's like a full blown Metroidvania, but the the sort of NES like Dr Dracula, or sorry, Castlevania three style, like Dracula's Curse style game. And um, then I saw Jeremy on Geeks and Gamers was in some argument with. I don't know if it was a viewer or someone who didn't like the channel, but they were saying something about like, Hey, like you don't have any video game videos on your channel. Why is your channel called geeks and gamers? And I was like, well, if you need a video guy, I guess like check this out. And I, I, I shared my, my bloodstained review. And then Jeremy DM'd me like five minutes later and was like, Hey, like, would you want to make videos for geeks and gamers? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. I guess like I might as well. I've just been doing this as a hobby. Like it might be kind of nice to make some money on it. And yeah, yeah. And then just started making videos for geeks and gamers. Um, I was doing weekly videos for them for a while, which was actually killing me because um, <laughs> yeah. basically what I'd be doing is I, Tough. in a given month, I'd play three games, but during the week I'd be playing one, I would be either writing or editing another one yeah. and then it would be like a constant turnover and there was nights that I'd be up until like four in the morning and then I'd have to be up to go to work at like 5.30 and be like, okay, God, I need to do, do this and... Yeah, and then I just uh, kind of started to branch out and do things on my own and started doing more podcasting and stuff. Um, I think one of the reasons I kind of got into doing that is because um, of like Last Jedi coming out and the big sort of boom of like okay. newer YouTubers that had come out. So I, uh, funny enough, one of the, the my favorite YouTubers at the time was Mahler and I, I, I listened <laughs> to EFAP like from the, before it was even called EFAP because they were doing kind of a similar show on Wolf's channel and then they eventually did EFAP episode one and then it became a thing. And for the longest time, I would be like, man, it would be so cool if one day I could get on EFAP. And now I think I've been on like 30 episodes, something like that. You, you That's can track awesome. It. There's the EFAP.me website and there you can track like all all the guests. And uh, like I, I just keep on rising the ranks of like most appearances. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I was like, I, I think That's I'm being so cool. as now. I was like, cool. so like a membership jacket for like how many times you've been? On? Almost. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just a fan run site. It's just it's very comprehensive, though. So it's like uh, it's one of those things that people say the, the EFAP crowd is all the like hyper autistic people that like <laughs> i guess <laughs> one of them just decided ah, i'm gonna make a website because i really like this podcast and um and yeah now i do a weekly sunday show with metal commander who's one of Mahler's best like real life friends and yeah it's a, a little bit wild when i go back and look at it because i was like man like when i when i started making videos i just kind of like was like yeah th these guys seem like they have similar kind of perspectives on me it would be neat if i could make videos the way they do and then maybe one day get onto these shows and talk to them and now now it's like something that I do kind of all the time and it's, it's nice. You yeah. know? And so it feels like I actually kind of accomplished something, even if I'm, I'm not like the biggest YouTuber in the world right now. It's not like I have a million subs or anything like that, but I, I sort of like being at the level I'm at, I suppose. I mean, not that I wouldn't like to grow, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I, I think I've, I, I think I've, I can already be pretty proud of all the stuff I've done on YouTube and that, that feels pretty nice. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.